Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we are playing more Sims 4. Jesus, Jim is pissed. Oh no, he's very neutral actually. He looked he looked more pissed when I zoomed out. These people look neutral as well, which is surprising because they're the ones getting locked in the basement. You'd think they'd be more annoyed. And we've got a special plan today. We're gonna buy a restaurant. You see, I figure that I can use the cult for cheap labor or else bring them as customers and make them eat at my restaurant. I don't know. Wait, I should get going now. See you later. What do you want about? You live here, Grim. 112,000. Yeah, buy that. Okay, so you bought a restaurant. Now what? It's hard work. Oh, come on. All right, I don't want to read all this. Can I just like work away now? Give me some employees. Select a sim below. The slave from the basement. Should I get him? Oh, wait, no, I released him from the house. So yeah, it would make sense to get him actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll take him. $2 an hour. Jesus, that's stingy. I want this guy because I'm sure I saw him like dancing at a at a store at one point and a host. I'll take this guy because I like his mustache. Hey, Jim's cult. Do they still? Yeah, they still want to clean everything. So yeah, that's that's fine. You started gathering right now. Open for business. It's now open and customers are ready to arrive and eat delicious food. I can't wait. I'll play the piano for them. Wait, actually, I'm terrible at piano. <laughs> <gasps> Jules? Yeah, Jules, come play the piano. Oh god, you're not looking so good. Oh yeah, didn't I freeze you and try and kill you? Wait, I thought I actually did kill him. Or else he's white-facing, in which case that is extremely inappropriate, young man. Wait, no, Jules, you're you're supposed to be playing the, the piano. Oh, he's just so good at everything, isn't he? He's amazing. Request cooking speed. Quickly. Doesn't matter if it's good. Where are the customers? Oh, here they are. One is a ghost. <laughs> so many people are dead in this village. What's your alien form? I don't actually know. Jesus Christ, put it back on, put it back on. Stop, stop. Oh. You see, she's doing that because she saw your disguise. They're all enjoying Jules playing the piano. Isn't he great? I think I'm blocking more customers coming because the cult is so large. Good, kiss your leader. Gonna ask her on a date. We're already having a baby, but you know, it's nice to keep things romantic. No, we'll, we'll stay here. I don't want it to be too romantic. I am running a business after all. Socialize with your date, okay. Ask to just be friends. Yeah. She's pretty happy about it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, now that we're having a baby, that is a good suggestion. We should just be friends. Jim is like, phew. <laughs> now I don't have to care for the child, right? Since when do you have to care for your friend's children? I want a table. The restaurant's chef needs more training to cook everything on the menu. Uh, that's not my fault, is it? Sure, I hired him and I told him to cook everything quickly instead of carefully, but that's not my fault. Ah, yes. Wait, am I paying for the whole group here? This is a great money maker. I can just bring the whole cult here to pay. Now, I believe our cult, I mean, our club should only eat here. We should have a hangout so we can all arrive here and we know that if, if we're free, we'll be here. Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. Okay, stop singing. The, the cult doesn't believe in singing. La, 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 la. The cult doesn't believe in singing, lady. All right, good. You were this close to dying. I like how I let him free from the basement just to put in, you know, younger models. And then I trapped him in this kitchen. Now he's just slaving away. Hey, a job is a job. Where is our waiter? Wait, what are you doing? Where are you going? Oh, that is an inconvenient place to have a bin. Order for table. Choose up to one dish and one drink per sim. Okay, so am I picking for, for Jim right now? Yeah, I'll, I'll take this one, he says as he points to the pretty picture. Oh, wait, I should probably pick a main as well. Oh, an appetizer. Savory bacon love petals. Space taco with pearled egg core. Yeah, and the crystallized cocoa blocks. And for the others, just, just water, please. It looked like I was going to have to pay, so I don't want to do that. Not only would I be losing money on the meal having to pay for them, but then they wouldn't buy anything afterwards. Eat your meal. Eat and learn experimental food. Yeah, sure. Don't forget to take a photo of it for your Simstagram. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Immediately vomited it up. Now that I've eaten some of it and thrown up, I'll take a picture. <laughs> Dude, stop cleaning up. You're in a restaurant. He's just trying to get out of eating the meal, that's for sure. Where's he gone? Oh, he's gonna get sick again. It's a pretty bad idea, to be fair, to ask the, the guy you've kept in your basement for years to cook for you. Like, surely he's gonna try and at least give you food poisoning. At least. Oh, one of them's fallen asleep. Must have got a bit of a food coma from that glass of water. <laughs> Data unsuccessful. God, this is just getting better and better. Where's my next course? I vomited it all up for more room. Where'd you get this? This is more of that stuff. I'm flirting with a woman from the next table. And by the way, Grimy, they look pretty rich. Maybe you could start on him and I could start on her. Wait, where'd their child go? Oh, this is the perfect opportunity. 
famous band. Nice. <laughs> Just took it from the fucking table. <laughs> I literally took food from a starving child. Don't worry, I think it's making me sick anyway. Oh my god, the toilets are ruined. This restaurant is terrible. When I exchange numbers, ignore the vomit on my mouth. Oh, he's, he's texting her. Wait, what are you saying ooh for? That better be about the food. Maybe now wasn't the best time. Not only am I in front of her husband, but also she's just been vomiting from the food. Like, she's probably in a bad mood. Oh, he's drawing something on his placemat. That's nice. That's really good, Jim. Bring out your most expensive cake. Oh, look at all these fancy people. Oh, Jesus Christ, why do you end up everywhere I am? What is your problem? She gets to the front door and they're like, I'm sorry, you can't get in wearing that. And then she just takes it off and goes in. Who's singing now? Oh my God, Grimy, what happened to you? Ah, oh, well, you can't have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Seriously, you're going to get yourself killed if you keep singing. Wait, flirty introduction to her. Anyone who's already taken, basically, is Jim's type. Alright, I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna flavorize this oven. <laughs> I wouldn't trust- it. oh my god, I swear to Christ, you better stop singing. Alright, go home, Jim. We need a snack. This isn't quite quenching our thirst. I just left the cult with the bill, by the way, I didn't pay it. <laughs> oh, he's crying over pumpkin. I think we were all a bit heartbroken over pumpkin. Go on, let's adopt a new pet. What pet do I want? Do I want a cat, a dog, or a child? You know what? Go for a dog. Give me cupcake. Is this him? Oh, look at the size of him. He's so small. Adopt him. Don't even, like, interact with him. Just adopt him. He's adorable. Hey, don't float over him. You're covering him in soot. I'm gonna call him Picky. Picky Pickens. All right, how do I change you? Ask to go potty? Is that me asking the dog, can I go potty? Your restaurant has started to lose money. You may want to close it. No, never. <laughs> We're 24 seven here. There, now my dog is guilty of white face. It's a serious problem. I think a lightning bolt for sure. There we go, lightning bolt. Oh God damn it, it did it both sides again. All right, that'll do. Oh God, it looks even less like a lightning bolt when you change the pose. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put flames on the underbelly. Oh, they just look like ink blots. Uh, can I get flames please? Yeah, flames. This target on its side for no apparent reason. With arrows pointing to it. And a picture of a man. A perfectly symmetrical man, I might add. Kinda looks like a dog man. It's really fitting, I like it. Oh, I, I didn't mean to, for his legs to start separating there. His body looks like a zipper on a pants. <laughs> Goals. Okay, that's about it. So we got the man on his back. Yeah, stand up, be proud. We got the target and the lightning bolts. Oh, there's stamps. Oh, we can give him lipstick. Oh, no, that just looks like an out-of-style mustache. That's not good. Oh, it looks like he's been crying. <laughs> the mascara is running down your face. Does this count as abuse? I mean, the person giving me the dog hasn't even left the building yet. I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> I kind of ruined the rabbit. I, like, overlaid it just at the right time, so now it's cross-eyed. <laughs> and you gotta have a poop emoji. It's like a warning. It looks like he's got tribal tattoos on his legs. All right, now we are ready to hit the town. Welcome. Welcome, Picky Pickens. It's like when he arrived at the house and when he saw himself in the mirror after the makeover. <laughs> Instant happy. He's still just a little puppy, so you can hardly see it. Uh, he'll grow into his tats. Oh no, he looks sad. I can't take that for his Simstagram. Oh, uh, you know what? It looks emotional. You'll look back in a few years and go, look how deep I was. Reward? Picky started to gain some attention. I wonder why. <laughs> I got some award thing in my household inventory. How do we get in that again? A ball, maybe? Uh, no, I find that unlikely. It's probably this swivel chair. Or maybe this breadstick that's been in my inventory for fucking years at this point. Oh, the breadstick actually dissolved. It's been so long. <laughs> Wait, I have more food in my inventory made by the chef. Did I just pocket it? No, I've just been pocketing plates, I think. Grim, you have a dog now. Don't think about pumpkins so much. Where's the dog? Oh, he's there. Jeez, he's so small. He's adorable. This is because he wouldn't stop singing, by the way, just so you know. Like, I'm thirsty anyway, so I needed a drink from some one, but that's the reason you were chosen. Emma can now take family leave. Did she give birth yet? I'm actually going to be there for this child, even though we're just friends. I think I'm going to actually go to the hospital with her. I'm going to get the expansion pack, the parents thing, so that we can be good parents to them. It's it's going to be such a, a lovely situation, and that child will have a great role model to grow up with. 
ignore that person who's like knocked out on the floor. All right, fire this guy. He's been doing a poor job and we're going to be the chef. I don't care if you're mad. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? Can I not be the chef myself? Oh, no. Okay, come back. Come back. Price markup 300% advertising diamond package. All right, I guess I should hire someone else because I, I can't apparently do it myself. All right, so let me give you a rundown of all of our employee uniforms. We started off with this one. We didn't want to spend too much, so we got him a really nice suit jacket and we won't be seen below the waist for the most part, so we didn't get him any pants. So, like, he'll come in, he'll say hello, and he'll be like, oh, that's a nice jacket, and you'll be none the wiser what's going on below deck. And then you get the chef who's dressed as a hot dog, so then, you know, if you forget what you're doing, you look in the mirror and you go like, oh, yes, food. Become one with the food. You know, it's very deep. And for the waiter, we ran out of money, so we just, well, he's naked. God damn it, man, get behind your desk. <laughs> People are gonna see you. How embarrassing it'll be. <laughs> Oh, now I'm singing. At least sing for the people. Like, don't just keep it to yourself, you selfish bastard. Like, you're amazing. Look, they're coming running to you. Oh, wait, no, they're running to the bathroom to throw up. <laughs> I'll just rename the bathroom to the vomitorium, like the ancient Romans used to do. They'd vomit to ha have more food. It's like, imagine you actually saw in the kitchen and what you were paying for here. And it's... It's an open kitchen. You can see him from this side of the restaurant and that side. It's glass in his massive hot dog outfit. The markup is 300% in here. Careful, don't get any oil on you. You don't have any protective clothing on like this man. Why don't I even use this section of the restaurant? And why is that cheesecake still out from yesterday? Dude, you can stop singing now. We've had enough. Everyone's had enough. Oh, these people came back for more after yesterday. Vomit so nice you could throw up twice. Sure, the meal was nasty, but I didn't feel guilty afterwards. <laughs> oh, this is a bad restaurant. It should be shut down. Okay, watch your suit, man. That was expensive. Oh, quick tea pose there by, by the wait staff. And I feel like I need to employ someone just to take care of the toilets. There's going to be a lot of clogged pipes, I imagine. Oh, three star. Nice. What are you feeling? The service is fantastic. I love their uniforms is what they're trying to say. Go on, your meal's there. Go on, eat it. Wait a suit. <laughs> I just took his food from him. How is this allowed? Why does it allow me to do this? It's like, hey, should we stop people from being able to take the customer's food? No, no one would do that. Why would they possibly do that? There's no reason to do it. And yet here we are. What did they think, I wonder? I didn't see the final rating. They were at three stars, but then he didn't eat, and she went bleh when she finished. <laughs> she already looks annoyed. She hasn't even taken a seat. What's wrong with you? Wish this place had more friendly service. What's what's the problem? I'll cheer you up. Don't worry. Yeah, that's right. We have a magician. <laughs> Goodbye. You see, that's why you shouldn't complain about having it moderately bad, because it could always be worse. Someone clean up that pee I just drowned her in. Look, why is the hot dog coming out so confidently? I know how to react to this. Her final wish was I wish this place had more friendly service. She's still thinking that. Go on, plead for her. I just want to see can I save anyone eventually. Oh, I actually brought her back to life. Jesus, I don't think I've ever managed to do that before. I'm so happy. Oh, Jim is very happy about this. It's like, this food smells burnt. No, ma'am, that is you. <laughs> Wait, get out of the kitchen! You don't want to see the magic. The service at this place is fantastic. Someone clean up that pee! This is why we're getting bad reviews. We still got some three stars in here. They're like, wow, what a good show. I could just kill anyone who gives me a bad review. That's one idea. This is hygienic, right? Having someone's ashes right behind the stove. Points. I got 340 perk points. I, I want an additional waiter, but I can't afford it. Jesus, why is the chef hat so expensive? Unlocks an additional chef hat for your Sims 5 grand? Surely I should have got some bonus points for, like, first death in a restaurant. He's trying to get tired from working so long, huh? Yeah, it looks really tiring. He's doing tons and tons of work. All the time. Alright, now that we finally have some peace, I guess we'll end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at my first restaurant. I'd like you to give it your own Yelp review in the comments. Only positives. If you do anything negative about my restaurant, you'll be banned. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but other than that, I will thank you very much for watching. Appreciate you folks and all your support as usual. And I guess I'll see you next time. So thanks for watching and bye-bye.